let's see how we can add custom recipes to Minecraft 117.1 with Fabric. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we will add custom recipes to the game. This is actually very easy and can be done with only some JSON files. However, to do this we will also add the Ruby block to the game, just so you can see one example of how to add another block here. So what I would do is simply copy over the Ruby ore once, so you can select it and press Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl V to paste it in. And then I will simply rename this Ruby block and then here as well Ruby block. And I might change the strength to for example 6 because maybe this is a little bit stronger, more hardness and resistance so it's going to take longer to break and also is more resistant against explosions. The rest here stays the same and then the only things we need are the JSON files and we can copy those from the Ruby ore. What you can do is hold control and then drag it into the same folder here and then simply change the name so Ruby underscore block and then here the same Ruby underscore block then copying the model changing the name again the contents of course as well Ruby underscore block and then last but not least in the item same thing holding control and dragging it in changing the name and then the contents as well and that would be it. Now of course we still need the texture, this is supplied in the description below, you can download that and add it to your project. And now let's add the recipe. So how do we add a recipe? We will need a new folder inside of our resources folder, very very important, new directory called data and then inside of that a new directory which has the same name as our mod id so tutorial mod very important that this is written correctly so double check that right click new directory recipes and this also has to be written correctly so make sure that this is spelled exactly like this all lowercase and inside of there we will now create the first recipe file this is ruby underscore block dot json so first of all we will need the curly brackets and then we want to define a type now this is going to be minecraft colon crafting underscore shaped so this is going to be a shape recipe and this will take a pattern. Now the pattern here is a very interesting. The pattern first of all needs the brackets here and then has three strings after one another so something like this and this basically represents the crafting grid. So those three strings usually are of length three. So for example, I could do something like this, something like this, and then something like this. I would have to fill out the crafting grid with whatever we decide this hashtag is going to be. If I were, for example, to take this away here, then the middle slot would be left empty. And what I could also do, for example, I can only put in two. This is how the boat would, for example, look, which you can, of course, either craft at the very bottom of the crafting table, or you can also move up one so that just this pattern has to be matched. But we will, of course, stay with this in this case. What I can simply once again suggest here is just trying out a few things. Usually this should make a lot of sense. Just make sure that the length of those strings is not longer than three because then it will not work. It can be shorter but not longer. Please do be aware of that. And then we will continue. Then we need to define a key and this will take curly brackets again and then we want to define the actual character that we've used. So this is going to be the hashtag colon and then another curly bracket and inside of here we will define the item that this key represents. So this is of course tutorial mod colon ruby and then we move to the end of the curly brackets here then we will say result colon curly bracket item colon and then the result so this is tutorial mod colon ruby underscore block and this is how the ruby block recipe would look like this is of course also available for copying and download in the description below right just for completion let's also add the recipe the other way around so this would be ruby underscore from underscore ruby underscore block the reason we write it like this is this is it's sort of the normal nomenclature that Minecraft also uses for the recipes because maybe there are some other recipes where we might get a ruby from and we want to know that this is from the ruby block. So what you will also see is that the names of the recipe files don't actually necessarily have to match whatever the result is and that's exactly right. This is one of the few JSON files where this actually doesn't have to match. So let's see the ruby from ruby block. Once again the curly brackets and then a type. Now the type here is actually going to be minecraft.crafting shapeless and what you can see is now we're actually getting some suggestions here, which is really cool. So as you can see, and we can now have this way easier. So we can, for example, say item here, and then it will automatically fill this ruby underscore block in this case. And then after the ingredients, we have result. And this is going to be an item, an item, of course, tutorial mod colon ruby. And then we have a count which is going to be nine, right? And if this doesn't happen on its own, then you can go down here. It will most likely say JSON no scheme selected. 
So you can simply go in here and search for Minecraft. And then you can see there are some schemes that are available here. So for example, you can take the recipe scheme and then you will get the same suggestion as we've just seen. And for completion sake, we can also take a look at all of the different types of recipes here. As you can see, there is also blasting. So this is how easy you can add some blasting recipes or a campfire cooking, smelting, smithing, smoking and stone cutting as well. So that's actually really cool. And something else that's really cool is how to take a look at vanilla recipes. So you can navigate down to the external libraries here and then expand this and go to net Minecraft Minecraft 117 or whatever your version might be and then open this up. And first of all, you can see the assets folder. So inside of here, we actually have all of the JSON files for the block states, the models, even the vanilla textures are available here, as you can see. So you could copy those over and then modify those. However, what interests us right now is in the data folder, Minecraft, and then under the recipes folder, you can see that these are all of the vanilla recipes. And I can just double click on one and open it up. And as you can see, I can now see the recipe, for example, for the black wool, or maybe I want something else. So let's get the chest minecart, for example. As you can see, this is how the chest minecart crafting recipe looks. It's just really useful to basically validate whatever you are trying to do because most of the recipes that you want to create have been created to some extent in vanilla anyway. And of course for completion's sake let's not forget to add the ruby block to the en underscore us json file that's always very important. So let's see if it works. All right we find ourselves in minecraft once more and let's see if our recipe has been added and indeed it works perfectly just like we would imagine. We can get the ruby block and now I can take the ruby block and put it in any of those slots because we've made it shapeless and I can get back my nine rubies. So as you can see, I can craft my ruby blocks. I can also go into my survival inventory and as you can see, I can just get the rubies from there and then craft them back into ruby blocks. And by the way, the recipes are automatically added to the recipe book. So you actually don't have to do anything extra for this. It simply works when the recipes are in game, it will automatically work. Right, but that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like and I will see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.